Well, good evening. Thanks for joining us for 41 NBC News at 6. I'm Tucker Sergeant Shelby Coates has the night off. Our top story tonight at 6. Georgia College psychology students have been studying the impact COVID-19 has had on college students. 41 NBC's Lisbeth Gutierrez has more on their research and what they found. Psychology students here at Georgia College surveyed 154 students where they found loneliness increased during the pandemic. We were specifically looking at what it was like for people to be in quarantine. And while we didn't um, ask students specifically why they were feeling lonely or why their mental health might have been suffering, I know based on my experience and the experience of my peers, a lot of it was being in quarantine being away from your friends that you were used to seeing every day in school. Emma Craby is one of five students involved in the research. She says the survey was given to mostly female students. The data is from the fall semester of 2020 to the fall semester of 2021. And we found a strong negative correlation between the two such that as loneliness increased, mental health decreased. Craby says the data shows mental health is still not at the point it was prior to the pandemic. Marielle Michael also helped with the research. She says throughout the start of the pandemic, they found people began exercising more. As time went on, uh, those mental health aspects did lower a little bit and exercise did go up, which is hopefully what we wanted to see. And just, yeah, people, it's great to see that people are adapting and people are getting back to how they were. The students also found introverts suffered more mentally than extroverts. Psychology professor Su Ming Chang says the students were surprised by the results and how much research is left to be done. What are the impacts and then what are the solutions moving forward to educate the community members that what are some of the best practices that you can use? The students tell me they hope to expand their research to the younger children. In Milledgeville, Lisbeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. And the students say they hope to incorporate more male students for the study in the future.